Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have this VWAR growing kit. This is a top drip irrigation um, hydroponic system. So this one comes with all the things. It's corrosion proof, durable, comes with these um, clay sort of air balls that um, allow humidity and air to get through your plant, get to your plant and the roots to get to the basket. So it comes with all the things you'll need. The air pump, the drip kit, the water level. So, you know, it's since it's a not a see-through bucket, you can actually use a level to see what your water level is. And so everything's included, including a manual to tell you how to set it up. So let's go ahead and set it up. To begin setting up the system, first you're gonna cut off this plastic off the bottom for the inlet. So let's go ahead and do that. Just use a pair of scissors or pliers to kind of just twist and cut it off. And that's it, you've taken off the, opened up the inlet. Now you can drop it into the bucket. This is the air pump here. This will sit outside the system. This connects to this through that inlet here. So this will go through here. Connect up top here. This will connect to the drip irrigation pipe. So we're gonna use this pipe for that. This is a water leveler, so we can connect that on the side here. So we're gonna have to cut this in half. They've given us more tubing than we'll need. On the side of the bucket, you have three holes. This is for the water level, and then these are for the air uh, inlets for the drip irrigation and the air pump. So we're gonna have one go through here and connect to the stone here which releases the air into the bucket it's gonna come out and connect to one side of the pump so you want to give it some space for that so let's say pump sitting on the ground right here i'm going to give it that much like so on the other one same thing oh. make sure the flat side is to the pump because it's supposed to prevent backflow. So this flat side goes to the pump. On the other one, same thing. The flat side to the pump. Make sure it's nice and snug. So you don't have any leaks. Last thing you want is any leaks. This will go to this hole right here, and this will connect here. So to put it through here, make sure that you have nice water site uh, type seal. I think it'll be easier to put this bushing into the hole first, like so. And we can do it on the other as well. There's four of these and each of these holes need the bushing. So you can go ahead and push those in. This will keep the system air uh, water tight so you don't have water evaporating through the system. Okay, once this is in, it's actually gonna be pretty difficult to put the hose through, but we're gonna use some force and get it through. It, it helps if you use a heat gun to warm up the hoses. To easily push it through but once it's in inside it's actually it's gonna be a bit easier once you have some inside so you can pull from one side and push from the other and now that I have it inside as you can see I can just pull it through much easier and then I can connect the stone here like so all right and you want the stone to sit pretty much at the bottom. Same here. We're gonna cut off just as much as we need. So I'm gonna estimate where this is gonna sit. This kind of sits on top like so. And this is gonna go pretty much to the bottom. So we're gonna say 
somewhere about right here. And give myself some leeway. Push this in as well. This part is going to require a fair bit of force, so don't be alarmed. If you have nose pliers, you want to help to grasp the other side and push it through, that's fine as well. So once you have that in, you can make that connection with this close right here. So you push this in all the way and it makes a nice connection. All right. Once you have that in place, you can drop the whole system down. And this is what it should like look like inside. There's the stone. There's this connected here. I put the whole thing in and now the water leveler. So let's connect the water leveler. The water leveler to make it easy to see the level has this little red ball that you just drop it inside. So this is the red ball. On the top, there is this connector here that connects to that little rubber bushing there. So you're gonna push that in. Push the water leveler into the bucket right here. And make sure that connection is nice and tight as well. Again, any connection here can be making leaks. So you wanna make sure everything's pushed in nice and tight. And so this is all nice and snug. That's it, the system's ready to use. So what I do need is a plant to put in here. So they've included these stones. What I'm gonna do is grow some strawberries inside over the winter. Um, it's uh, f uh, mid fall here, so obviously nothing growing outside. So what we can do is grab a plant with roots already established, an uh, older strawberry plant, so I'm not, I don't have to wait years for it to fruit. Before I sit, turn the system on, let me add water to it and uh, see how the air pump works and things like that. Okay, I went outside and rinsed off any packaging dust or anything like that. And now we're ready to plug in the pump and see how this system works. All right, as soon as I plug it in, as you can see, the water is going to drip into your stones that sit here and the roots and the uh, plants going to remain irrigated through this drip irrigation system right here. Along with that at the bottom, you're seeing air bubble through from that stone. So it's going to remain aerated as well. You can increase or decrease the aeration by in turning this knob. So this is the highest. You can hear it bubble up more and then you can turn it out to the lowest. This is the lowest setting, which is still plenty of aeration and plenty of dripping. Uh, make sure to add nutrients to your water as well. Before using these pebbles, just make sure to wash these uh, to get any ceramic particles out uh, so you're not uh, introducing them to your watering system. Just wash them out before you use them for the first time. Okay, I've now washed these uh, clay stones and I've added the appropriate amount of Miracle growth. If you're using Miracle growth, this is a five gallon bucket. I have about four gallons of water in here. So I added two capfuls to that first line, two capfuls of this Mergo grow in here, and that should be good enough. And of course, if I'm noticing that my plants are not well nutritioned, I can always add more. So let's go ahead and throw our plant in there. Okay, so I took this strawberry plant from my strawberry patch. I rinsed off the roots and this is what we have left. So I'm gonna put some stones around here. The stones are already wet because I washed them. It's already mid fall, so that's why you can see those orange spots on my plants because they're starting to suffer through some of the effects of winter. But now that it's indoors, it, they should do much better. So I'm gonna have a grow light sitting on here as well. Let's go ahead and turn on our pump so the irrigation starts working. And now underneath here, you can't see, but the water should be going to the roots and keeping them well hydrated. So that's how easy it is to set up a 
five gallon hydroponic kit. This kit is super easy to use, super easy to set up, leak proof, rust proof. Hopefully it's gonna get me some organic strawberries in the middle of winter. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.